Hi, in this first lecture, we are going to study introduction and various phases of compiler. Introduction and various phases of compiler. Okay, so what is the main aim of compiler? The main aim of compiler is the main aim of compiler is is to convert a high level language into a low level language. Okay, the main aim of compiler is to convert a high level language into a low level language. So how does it happen? So first we will see, suppose this is a high level language, then we pass this high level language first to preprocessor. Okay, then this preprocessor converts this high level language into pure high level language and then this pure high level language will be passed on to compiler. Okay, then this compiler will generate assembly language. And this assembly language will be passed on to the next phase which is assembler and then this assembler will generate machine code and that is relocatable so that code can be relocated to other systems as well and this machine code will get passed on to loader or linker okay and then finally we will get the executable code the executable code okay so these are the various these are the various stages in which a high level language finally gets converted into executable code clear so now we will study separately now for what what is the function of preprocessor so preprocessor basically removes removes all the hash include That means all the file inclusion which is there in your code that will be removed by the preprocessor. Okay, so removal of these lines, removal of these lines will be done by the preprocessor, and also it removes the macro expansion like define. So these are the macro expansion, right? So that is also being removed by the preprocessor. Okay, now, now what is this pure high level language? Now what is this pure high level language? Pure high level language will not contain any hashtags lines. Okay, like this. So because as it is removed by this preprocessor okay so that's why it is known as pure high level language okay so for every hardware for every hardware we are using like uh, we use intel right or amd processor or we use a motorola like these are the processors right so mostly intel is used and so on top of these hardwares, on top of these hardwares, operating system exists. Operating system exists. 
like windows or linux and etc okay so after compiler when compiler generates assembly language there is an assembler a assembler for one platform will not work for other platform okay so that is the important point and an assembler for one platform like if we talk about this platform like windows or linux so they will have a separate assembler okay one one assembler will not work on the other platform okay so this is the thing you should note down now so compiler compiler like gcc turbo c etc or all the modern modern day compilers they will perform they will perform all the steps from high level language to executable code okay now it's not like you need a, a separate preprocessor then you need a separate compiler then you need a separate assembler that is not the thing nowadays now in in one compiler all the all the things are there that is preprocessor is there assembler is there loader and linker is already there so everything is there okay so compiler like gcc turbo c and all the latest modern day modern day compiler will have all the stages all the steps and they will perform all the steps from high level language to executable code but in this but in this course as per our gate syllabus we are focused only on compiler okay we are focused only on compiler and we will study only that okay so let's let's uh, let's understand the phases of the compiler we have in our course so first of all high level language will be passed on to the first the first phase of the compiler which is lexical analysis okay lexical analysis then this high level language will be converted into stream of tokens stream of tokens by this lexical analyzer and that stream of tokens will be passed on to syntax analysis syntax analysis okay this is the second phase of the compiler this is the first phase this is the second phase of the compiler now this syntax analyzer will generate one parse tree so we will we will study each and every phase in detail i am just giving you an overview so that you can understand how compiler works okay so the syntax analyzer phase will generate a parse tree and this parse tree will be passed on to semantic analyzer or semantic analysis phase okay and this will generate parse tree which is semantically verified semantically verified parse tree will be generated okay and this parse tree the semantically verified parse tree will be passed on to intermediate code generation intermediate code generation that is icg okay so this parse tree which is semantically verified will be passed on to intermediate code generation and this will generate our three address code okay three address code will be generated by this intermediate code generation and then this this will be passed on to code optimization phase code optimization phase okay so basically code optimization is used to reduce the size of the code okay to reduce the size of the code and finally this 
this will be passed on to target code generation this, that, this is the last stage of any compiler target code generation okay so there will be one there will be one symbol table which will store all the important things and we will study this as well in the detail what is symbol table and what it generally stores okay and the symbol table is linked to lexical analysis phase the symbol table is also linked to syntax so basically symbol table is linked to all the stages all the phases of the compiler okay and there is one error handler there is one error handler as well and that is also linked to all the phases of the compiler clear so this this target code generation will finally generate the assembly code this this will generate the assembly code which will passed on to the assembler so these are the stages the sorry these are the phases of compiler which we have to study in this in this subject okay and the most important phase among all these phases are syntax analyzer okay there is all the parsing uh, all the lr parsers bottom up parsers right so we all study in this phase syntax analysis phase but all the stages are important uh, there can be questions from uh, lexical analysis as well, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, intermediate code generation. They also ask a few questions and they ask questions from code optimization. Okay, so we will study each phase one by one. So, <clears throat> before that, uh, let me just give you an overview.